My name is Mary Marinville, and we're here at Limonier Ranch in beautiful Santa Paula today. And today I'm going to be talking to you about agricultural education and my program in particular, which is called 21st Century Agriculture and Farming in Ventura County, and my organization, Students for Eco Education and Agriculture. And many, many times, children, school children, don't make the connection between the acres of farmland in their own backyard to their food food on their table, and my program teaches kids not only about agriculture, but where their food comes from, from, from the farm, and all the steps in between until it arrives at their home on their dinner table. And I'm so happy to um, introduce Rory Br Brutrin. And where do you go to school, Rory? Um, I go to Lincoln Elementary. And what grade are you in? I'm in the fourth grade. You're in the fourth grade. And I came into your classroom and talked to you about agriculture, but you had a little bit of an agricultural background before I met you. And can you explain that? Um, yes. I had been, my mom is a very good friend of Gus Gunderson who plays a big part in Lyman era, so I've got to see a lot. Yes, Gus is the farm operations manager, and that's how I was introduced to Rory in the classroom. He told me he knew Gus, and we had a really nice conversation after my presentation. But do you remember what the first question I asked you in the classroom? Yes, that was... Who here is connected to agriculture? Who is connected to agriculture? And Rory was one of the only students that raised their hand because most people and most students don't realize that everyone is connected to agriculture because that's where all of their food comes from, right? Yes. You might have a garden in your backyard, but agriculture is where all your food comes from. Yes. Yes, and it comes from ranches and farms in your own backyard that you might never even visit or go to like Limonera. And what do they grow here at Limonera? Um, they grow m mainly citrus fruits. Yes, and we are in their demonstration orchard where they have 150 different varieties of citrus. So they grow lemons, right? They grow Eurekas and, and Lisbons and Pryor and Meyer. And they also grow, um, with the help of Calavo, they grow a lot of avocados. And um, what did you learn when you came out here? What, what, are the th what are some of the impressions that were left on you when you were here? Um, I knew that this would be a great place to have a job or even come to in a visiting matter. Oh, really? So you really enjoyed it. Yes. And did you learn anything when we talked about the journey of a lemon? You learned where do lemons start from? Where do they come from? They come from the seed of another lemon. Right. They come from the seeds, which turns into a tree, and then the tree blossoms, right? And, we, and so this program takes children through, we come out into the orchard, we visit the farm, we actually look at the trees, look at the blossoms, and what was, um, it was one of the um, things that we learned is it takes how long to go from a blossom to a lemon? About one year? Exactly. It takes about one year. And a lot of people don't know that. And then it gets harvested. And then one of the things um, that people think is that lemons get harvested, they get put into a box, and then it ends up at your grocery store. But it doesn't ha actually happen that easily, does it? When it gets picked, where does it go? When it first gets picked, it will go to the packing house. Yes, exactly, the packing house. And Limonera has uh, one of five historic packing houses. It was built in the 1920s, so it's quite beautiful. It's, it's very large. It's 180,000 square feet. And the lemons come in, and what happens? They will go on a conveyor belt that will sort them by color and age. It sorts them by color and by the, which is sorts them by their ripeness because they could be they could be green or they can be yellow and all the different um, uh, co variations of color in between. And then what happens to them after they get separated by color? They will well the ripe ones will will stay a few wax in their heat in Lyman Air's huge refrigerator <laughs> underneath the packing house. Right, they have an underground cold storage, which is also known as efficient cold storage. And then once it's down there, it might be down there for one to two months, and then what happens? 
then it will come up and go into a truck, right? Yes, it gets, well, they have to box it, it goes, put, gets put into boxes, and it gets graded before that, either fancy, choice, or standard. And what happens to the fancy lemons, do you remember? The fancy lemons, I believe, get made into lemonade. Well, they, some of them get made into lemonade, but a lot of them will end up at your grocery store because they're beautiful, they're perfect. And then some of the juicing lemons, where, do you remember where, they, where some of the juicing lemons might end up? What some of the juicing lemons might go into the fertilizer of limonera, maybe, or the lemon juice. Or lemon juice, which um, would go to hot dog on a stick, for instance. And so that's really the journey of a lemon. The journey of a lemon starts here in the orchard, on the tree, goes through the packing house and to, um, through four or five different phases, and then it gets shipped to your grocery store. And what you know, remember the day when we were walking around and we were, um, the day you were here and we were picking lemons at the end? And what, what were some of the things that you realized getting out of the classroom and getting out into a farm? What do you think, why, why do you think that was good for you and some of the, your um, students? I think it was good for them because they need to know how, how your, the food on your plate comes, gets made. Right. Do you, do you um, ever wonder, like when you go into your grocery store and you see all of that fruit and veggies and it's always there and you see bags and bags of groceries coming out, but you really never see it going in, do you? No, you really don't. That's why you need to go to the farms. That's why you need to go to the farms. Because I think a lot of kids don't know that lemons actually grow on trees or that tomatoes are a fruit or they don't know about row crops. And here at Lehman they also have 300 acres of row crops. So we bring them and show them about, um, you know, some uh, celery and we show them the cilantro that's grown here as well. And so they need to know that uh, their food doesn't grow in grocery stores. It's grown on local farms and it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of time, but it's also just good that you do know your farmers and you know where your food is coming from, right? So Rory, when the lemons, after you said they enter the, the packing house and they get washed, you explained to me that one of your favorite parts of the lemons, of, of the journey of a lemon, was when they get color separated. Why was that so interesting to you? Because when I went on the field trip and the camp, mm -hmm. we all went in there and we went on that staircase that goes over them. And I saw how they all come in in one tube, get separated into littler tubes, and then these things come up and pop the lemons into <laughs> a conveyor belt of their own colors. Right, so they really all get sorted by color. And a lot of children describe it as like being in a Willy Wonka chocolate factory, but it's not chocolate, it's lemons because lemons are going all over in crates and in boxes and on conveyor belts and they're up over your head and they're down below. And that that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And did you have any any idea before you came to the farm and to Limonera that that fruit was sorted that way? No, I had no idea in any of my mind that it happened that way. Yeah, you just think that lemons get picked, they're all yellow, they get put into a box, and then they go to your grocery store. But there's so many different phases in between that the most, um, the average person doesn't know, let alone a fourth grader from Lincoln Elementary. So, and then after that, that's when they go to the cold storage. So you know a lot about Limonera now, yes. and you have a good background about agriculture in Ventura County. So what are some of the other crops that are grown here on farms? Wow, big question. There's a lot. <laughs> Tomatoes, avocados, lemons, obviously, oranges, celery, strawberries. I don't think I have enough fingers to count. <laughs> Tomatoes, that. greens. So we have a very diverse growing county. And isn't that amazing? Yeah. Our county is doing what? We're feeding people. Our counties, our yeah. farmers are feeding people in other countries, yeah. right? 
54 different countries to be exact. And that's pretty amazing and something to be really proud of, not just for you and for our community, but also think of all those kids that have agricultural ties or their family has worked in agriculture for years and years and years. It's something to be really proud of. And that's the other part of my program that um, I really try to emphasize because we have such a diverse county and we have people that are agricultural workers and when I'm talking to them, I want them to feel a sense of pride if their mother, father, grandmother, uncle works in agriculture. And I think that um, a few of my teachers and principals have told me that uh, after they went on the field trip, they asked how they felt about the field trip and what they got out of it. And one little boy put his hand on his hip and said, my dad works in agriculture. And that made him very happy. It made the principal happy. And it really made me happy because the message that I wanted to get through got through. So you can understand that, right? Yeah. That there's other kids that their families work in agriculture. So yes, anything more you want to add? It's just an amazing place to live. This Limonier is an amazing place, and farms in general are an amazing places. So you to like the program? Yes, I love it. <laughs> he loves it. He's uh, he's going to become a um, a future, hopefully, farmer that you might see one day in Ventura County or maybe somewhere else in uh, in California. Thank you, Rory, to, for coming today. I really do appreciate it. And is there anything else that you would like to say? No? I'm good. How about Farmer's Rule? Farmer's Rule. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And thank you, KDTV.